Hey everyone, Charlene Bauer, Ladies Off Road Network, and we are live at five from sunny Arizona in March. I just thought I'd let you see that my Christmas tree is still up because today is a calendar day, and a calendar day is a big day because we are feeling like it's the 12 days of Christmas again. At least that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> it's feeling like it's the 12 days of giving and since the silly Christmas tree is still up, I figured you got to see it. Yeah, welcome to my world. So the big question is, do we turn the lights on or do we leave the lights off? That's the question of the day. I'll let you guys tell me what you wanna do. Turn the lights on or leave it off. They haven't been on since Christmas Day. I swear we are pulling the Christmas tree down next week. It is happening. I'm done over it. Not happening anymore. I'm taking a day off and we're pulling Christmas tree down. That's the goal for next week. So by next Tuesday, we should be good. But today is all about calendar day. We have a ton going on. I hope you guys have your planners out. Uh, if not, grab a piece of paper because you're going to want to write down dates so that you can add it to your planner. Um, I am going to talk about a new flash sale shirt. I may be wearing it. Uh, we're going to talk about the March giveaway because that's today. We're going to talk about March networking. And of course, I have story time at the end. And story time at the end, Marissa's pick for tonight is when I got stuck in the bathroom. But we're also going to talk about when the van got stuck. And according to Cheryl and what I wrote on Facebook today, it's going to be when the van got stuck in the bathroom. So this should be a really interesting story. So tonight is going to be long. Tonight is going to be aggressive. Uh, tonight, I have been working for a long time, so I might lose track and say wrong words. But we're going to figure it out and we're going to get it going and we're going to have it ready to rock. All right. So I'm not going to... Um, chit chat much more than that okie dokie so get your planner if you don't already have your planner wander and get your planner and come back uh everybody is telling me to turn the lights on you want me to turn the lights on or turn the lights off this is the last time we will see the christmas tree until december <laughs> gabe was teasing me he's like you should just leave it up and put flamingos on it and then we can have uh Christmas in July at your house. And I'm like, no, no, we're not going to do that. The Christmas tree is going to go away. Like it's completely ridiculous. It's even still up. That tells you how my world is going. Okay. Flash sale. Flash sale. Ladiesoffroadnetwork.com slash flash dash sale. All right. Flash dash sale. And you can order it right now. But if you're a member, you don't want to order it right now because you need your code. And I'm going to tell two groups of people not to order them at all because you're getting them as part of your package. So this is a very special shirt to me. So it's a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, black, and uh-oh, I didn't bring the other colors. This is how this is going to go. Hold on. There's so much going on. It's out of control. That wasn't too bad, was it? All right, so you get polka dots. Polka dots is the main color. This is the one that it's themed after. But what I learned from you guys after doing fluffy jacket sales is you don't always like my fluffy ideas. <laughs> so we have polka dots, but we also have it in a red which it's not coming out well in the pictures or in this light even. It looks kind of orangey, but it truly is a metallic red. It's really pretty. It feels like Christmas, to be honest with you. Um, or you have it in a white. And this is a, um, it's not a flat white. It's like a pearl white. There's a little bit of pearl to it. So polka dots, white, or red. Okie dokie, polka dots, white or red. Um, it's going to be $35 non-member and $28 for member. Uh, small to 4XL. And here's the reason why I'm doing this. 
The reason why I'm doing this shirt next, everything has a reason, remember that, is because we're getting from Moab. So Moab VIPs, do not order yourself a shirt. You will get one as part of your VIP package. Um, it will be a polka dot one. It will be a polka dot one. And the reason why we're doing that is the one, one of the main events that Jesse Combs and I co-hosted was at Moab on Tuesday night. And we'll talk about uh, Moab in a minute. But that was something that we did on Tuesday night together. She was always part of that uh, project with me. So for Moab, we're doing the polka dot shirt with the long sleeves. And if you guys didn't notice, there's a Jesse Combs patch on the sleeve. So if you'd like to add a Jesse Combs patch to your sleeve, you have to buy it separately. It's a $20 direct donation to the Jesse Combs Foundation, and it will be applied to your shirt before you get it. Uh, I'll have them here. I'll have them with me even in Moab. So if you just want the patch by itself, you can do that. Uh, but as far as the shirt goes, that makes it a signature shirt where you have the polka dot ladies off red network long sleeve on the black with the polka dot on the sleeve. And I think that that's really special. So this is something that uh, we put together and I'm really happy about it. If you don't like the polka dot, the red still looks really good with the sleeve. See how that works? Or the white looks really good with the sleeve. So it doesn't matter how you decide to do it. Just do it, right? So here's your long sleeve. Again, remember, these will only be available until March 27th. So it's just this month because I got to get them shipped out before we leave for Easter Jeep. All right, that's the whole process. That's how these flash sales are working. Like fluffy jackets are gone. You'll never be able to get a fluffy jacket again. Long sleeves are going to be gone. You won't be able to get a long sleeve again for I don't know how long. Uh, but I'm not going to say never again because these are definitely coming back at some point. But it won't be this styling, right? So you have polka dot, the Jesse Combs Foundation, um, direct donation for $20. And then you have your red and you have your white. All right. Cool plan. That's our next opportunity for you guys to get some ladies off-road network swag. Uh, fluffy jackets, since I mentioned those, they are shipping on Monday, so you guys will have them next week. Yay! I'm so excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you need a patch, just a patch or something like that, you can find me and I have them, or they are up online as well. And they have them online at the Jesse Combs Foundation if you just want to buy one direct from them. So, a couple different options there, but I really think that the shirt is a cool deal. If, again, if you are signing up for Moab VIP, do not buy a shirt. It's going to come as part of your VIP package. If you are going to, um, well, I'll tell you one other reason why you're not going to order one because I'm going to give it to you. Uh, but otherwise, go ahead and order one. They're up online now. Tonight, after I get offline, there's going to be a lot of stuff up really fast after I get offline. You know how this goes on the 12 days of giving week. Um, I will get you guys as a member the 20% off code. So it goes from $35 to $28. All right. Do you guys love the shirt? How'd I do? Are we good for the next flash sale shirt? Yes. Yay. And then right after this one, we have another one. So, and then we're going to settle it down for a minute. <laughs> Charlene and her her shirt shipping is a little out of control. The girls are like, oh my gosh, Charlene, what are you doing? Okay, so that is that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Uh, next one is the March networking is up. March networking is up. So the Facebook events will go up later this week. But as far as dates, locations, you can go to ladiesoffroadnetworking.com dot com and find all the locations across the country. I'll read them off really fast. So in Michigan on the west on Monday, Julie's going to host one. Um, on Tuesday, we have summer in Louisiana and Virginia Johnson is going to do North Carolina. 
And then on Wednesday and Thursday, whoo, heavy hitter days. I'm going to be a busy girl crisscrossing the country on Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, Wednesday, Savannah is in Arizona. Lisa is hosting Colorado. Stephanie is hosting the Orlando area in Florida. Tamika is in Illinois. Trisha is in Kansas. Arlie is in Kentucky. Carrie is in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, Jody is in Wakeman, Ohio. And then on Thursday, we have uh, Bonnie hosting in Arizona. Lisa is going to do the Denver area, Colorado. Lisa's double dipping here, ladies. This is really cool. She's doing a couple different spots. Uh, Kendra is going to do Jacksonville, Florida area. Stephanie is in New Mexico. Marissa is Ohio. Crystal is going to do Memphis, Tennessee. Susan is Utah. And Hannah will be up in Washington. So uh, we're at 19 networking events this year. Yay! I'm so excited about that. If you, I just called your name, if you know that you're hosting a networking event, I am going to send you a polka dot shirt as your thank you gift in your package. Uh, so I'm going to need to know what size you need. If you do want to do the Jesse Combs patch, it is the $20 extra. I will tell you how to do that. And um, yes. And then I just need you to wear it on networking week so that people can see it because that'll be the last week that people can order. All right, so that's just a little extra bump bump. All right, so that is March networking. And again, polka dots, aren't they cool? They really turned out good. I was super nervous about it. <laughs> um, okay, so that's March networking and that's the shirt. Next, are you guys ready for the March giveaway? What? You know that it's really big if I'm telling you what the giveaway is of number three on the agenda tonight. like. Tonight's agenda is huge. Huge is the name of the agenda tonight. So hopefully, again, you guys all have found your planners because we just did the networking, but we got a lot more to go. So March giveaway, number three on the agenda. That's how big this tonight is. Oh, other side of the tree. Hold on. All right, drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right. Bam! A curl magazine, a trail magazine. You're like, we know that, Charlene. <laughs> we got that, Charlene. Sure, Charlene, we're on top of it. That's no big surprise. But <laughs> you do get a uh, option of either a curl magazine or a trail magazine for March. Which one would you get? Trail or crawl? Trail or crawl? And remember, you guys have to go log in. Now, this is not available yet. This will be available tonight. Okay? Not available yet. It'll be available tonight. You can go log in for your giveaway. Again, you'll get the email tonight and all the links will work. Bam! Coyote deflators. Yay! You're like, Charlene, we already know that too. <laughs> yes, coyote deflators. Do you love them or do you love them? All right. So Coyote Deflators, good stuff here. So our normal is the crawl or the trail and the Coyote Deflators because these things are spectacular. Now, I had to think hard about getting a giveaway for this month. And it was like come down to the wire moment to even do it. Um... Because I really wanted to keep it with a theme and I wanted to keep it with our resolution theme. Like what do we have going on and how can I do a giveaway that's really going to make that awesome and like relate back because we've been doing such good education with like the oil, right? We learned so much about the oil. I was talking to my mom uh, uh, the other night after our quiz last week on the oil. She's like, Charlene, I even knew some of the answers, but I didn't want to type them in because I didn't want to. And I'm like, mom, type them in, type them in. Be proud that you know oil answers. <laughs> it's so awesome. I love it. Oh, there's a bunch of carrots. I guess I've talked too long. You guys want to know what it is now, huh? <laughs> You're like, come on already. So I thought about it and it's hard because maintenance is like not blingy like we just did the oil right it's not blingy but it's super necessary 
and I was struggling and it dawned on me literally this weekend and I'm like, ah, oh, I know what I want. Like I already got next month's lined up. You guys are going to like freak out over what next month is because we're all, because we're going to get back to the bling a little bit. All right. But this month, here's what we're going to do. Are you guys ready to learn what we're going to learn all month of March? I think this is really cool. Drum roll. Have I like drugged this out enough? All right. Here it comes. Yes, yes. A whole kit from Canon. We'll get you guys fitted up with the filters that you need for your vehicle. An oil filter, air filter, and they even have the cabin filters. If your vehicle has a cabin filter and they have it for your vehicle, then we'll get you one of those too. But I'm really excited about this. This allows us the opportunity to talk about filters. It allows us the opportunity to talk about filters uh, from the OEM standpoint to also these uh, that are reusable, right? So how do we reuse an air filter and the why behind it? Like, why would you do that uh, versus using your stock filter? So again, it's not super bling bling, jing jing, ling ling, but it's really important. And so somebody is going to get set up with a whole filter set for your vehicle, which I think is really awesome all right but that's just me I'm just a garage kind of girl that thinks that this is really awesome hey who's a garage girl just say I am I am I am holy cow do I have something for you tonight oh I can hardly wait to tell you what's going on okay but anyways again back to you if number three on our agenda is the giveaway for March you know how much bigger we get from here so very excited to have Canon uh, giving Canon away and be talking about Canon filters and filters in general. We also have the Crawl and Trail Mag and the Coyote Deflators. So I love it. I am excited to talk about filters, but not tonight. Okay, next week. Same place. Well, that's going to be gone. I might even do it in the same place so you see that that's going to be gone. I swear, the Christmas tree is out of here. The reason we're at the Christmas tree is number one, I had to show you legitimately was still up. Like that's how busy my world has been. And number two, because tonight is calendar night. So it reminds me of the 12 days of giving. And so that's why we're in front of the Christmas tree. And I think people have been saying to turn the lights on, but I just can't. It's not December anymore. They haven't been on since Christmas day. I just can't do it. I can't. All right, so shirts. This is our next flash sale. March networking is up. March giveaway is rad, thanks to KNN. And resolution. Okay, so resolution is next on my list. Uh, so I have like clearly uh, not done good at my resolution, but hopefully you guys have, because here's the problem. Next week, I'm on the gas and you guys are going to get fully overwhelmed by the amount of resolutions that are coming your way. Got that Cheryl? Fully overwhelmed. And so we need to make sure that all of your resolutions up to now are done. Like spend time this weekend and get them done so that they are off of your list. Trust me on this because your list starting next week is going to go really fast again. I know that's not fair to you. I know that it's been frustrating, but that's the way it's gonna go. And so I've been kind of warning you each week, like, hey, make sure that you're staying up on top of these. Like, I might have fallen off the bucket for a minute, but it's all still gonna get done. Like, we are not gonna not get it done. So make sure that you are on the gas this weekend, catching up and getting everything done that's already listed. And then shwabam, we are off and running. Um, very uh, pointed here is the March giveaway. Actually, let me go to my calendar for a second. The March giveaway is on the 24th, March 24th, which is not the last Tuesday of the month. So you guys, again, need to get in and get registered for the giveaways because on March 31st is the resolution giveaway. All right, so we have the resolution giveaway that is going in March 31st, the drawing. So make sure you're getting on top of that. Uh, next week also, I have the three ladies that are 
committed to saying yes, 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 and they're going to help us out with all the paperwork and tracking all the um, all of the pictures. So next week you're going to start seeing that. Basically, I come back on Sunday and whew, fluffy jackets go out and life comes back down like three levels for a while. Well, like three weeks until Easter Jeep. But we got a ton to get done in the meantime, right? So all the resolution stuff is coming out. And we're also starting to shut it down, meaning just make sure that you're on top of it right now. All right, how are we doing? So those are our non-calendar marks. Everything else from here on out, you guys are going to need your calendar. And we're going to get rocking and rolling. Um, I think oh, we post we ended it. On March 22nd Marissa just asked what's the new end date so it's gonna be like that week of the 22nd I'll probably even push it through the week but don't like don't kill the girls that are trying to get your pictures in for you because Tuesday we are doing that drawing regardless regardless all right regardless regardless so the week of the let's just say the 22nd but I'll take stuff in throughout that week all right so push push for that. So those couple weekends in there are going to be really important for all of us to get a lot of work done. Yeah. And I'm with you. Like I put you in this position. So I'm going to give you as much opportunity as possible to be successful. Okie dokie. What's next? All right. Calendar. You guys ready? So <laughs> when I opened the calendar today to actually take a picture of it, I have my calendar set to where I only see this part and I use this part. I use this every day. Who else uses their, their planner every day? Like, I love this thing. But I hadn't seen the top, I guess, since I just flipped it the other day and just flipped it really fast. But what a statement for tonight, actually, for March. So old ways won't open new doors. And unfortunately, the first thing that we're going to start with on our calendar is crossing out two activities. Uh, so unfortunately, I am going to take the role and go ahead and be intelligent and take off the East Coast Adventure and the West Coast Adventure. Unfortunately, we're just not going to have enough people that are going to be able to fill those adventures to the point where we can make it cost effective. Let's just be very honest with you. Um, I wanna go. <laughs> I'm probably more sad than anybody else because I was looking forward to going out and going wheeling and having a great time. But the reality is we're not gonna do them. <laughs> and um, so we tried really hard two years now for Ladies Offer Network to put on adventures. So I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say, you know what? Ladies Offer Network is not an adventure company. And I am totally cool with that. That's what you guys are saying. I hear you loud and clear. You're not hurting my feelings by any means. Uh, so let's move on with it, right? Let's not like strangle this thing to death. Let's move on with it. What I do want to do with these adventures, because I love what you guys put together for the challenge last year, is I'm going to have one of the girls help me out. And we're going to post up those images that you made and the information that you had about each one. And we'll post them up online. And then you can see them on the outside and then on the inside in apricot you guys can chit chat and if the person who made that adventure says hey i'm going who wants to go with me run with them go with them go have a great time uh, so i really see that as happening and i'm going to just tell you right now creating an adventure is going to be another one of the challenges this year it'll have a different guidelines to it especially because of the way that we're going to host them afterwards um, but there you go. There's your first tip of the night as far as what's going on as far as the, the challenge goes. Okay, so cross off. Let's see. So you got to go to April. So that's the East Coast Adventure. And then June is the West Coast Adventure. So sad face. Everybody throw a sad face. I know. I'm not excited about that. But we at least have to be intelligent about our decisions. What that does allow me to do, honestly, is it also allows me to be at my desk more. And those, those adventures are five days, but 
really they're a lot longer in my world, right? Because we're trying to get everything done. And so that's going to be something that is going to help all of us keep like programs like the resolution alive and going faster. All right. So that is the only negative part. All right. Yay. Only negative. All right. So let's move on to tomorrow. How about we talk about tomorrow? Where's the O face now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the reason the Christmas tree isn't coming down until next week is because we're out of here. So I'm headed to the Mint 400. Uh, we have a VIP experience. It is going to be casual. Uh, I'm going to be at the BF Goodrich Tires booth on Thursday and Friday. So please make sure you drop by, say hello, and let me know that you're in town and we'll do some cool stuff. Um, on, on Thursday at 11 a.m., we will be having an all-girl picture at the uh, downtown Fremont Street Experience with uh, where the BFG uh, track is. Okay, there's a track there. So that's where our all-girl picture is going to be at 11 a.m. on Thursday. Anybody that's there, make sure you come. Anybody that's coming, make sure you tell other people, all girls, all good. Let's make it happen. All right, so that is uh, Thursday at the drive, drive area on Fremont Street at 11 a.m., the Proving Grounds. <clears throat> All right, so that is tomorrow. Then the next VIP on the list is Easter Jeep Safari. This is not online yet. This will have to be online like Sunday, Monday, something along those lines once I get back. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk it out really fast. So if you're coming to Easter Jeep, you have the information so you can start planning your week. Details and details and signups will be uh, at the end of this week. So we'll have it for sure, for sure for Tuesday, but hopefully up online before that. Uh, on Easter Jeep Safari, do not order a shirt, a... Um, limited edition shirt if you're going to do the VIP series. Okay, just so I mention that again. I don't want like a whole bunch of people ordering them and then have to refund them. Refunding is not my favorite thing. It's and it's not me, it's our computer system. Our computer system is ridiculous. It's not like it's a button. All right. Uh, so Easter Jeep Safari. Monday we will have a VIP dinner with Raceline Wheels. It's an amazing space. It's so much fun to go where we're going and I hope that you will join us. On Tuesday night, we have our Ladies Offered Network experience. We've always had this experience. This is where we will release the challenge. So the challenge will be released that night. You have hands-on opportunities with Warren and BFG and High Lift. Um, Max will be there. Paul Powell will be there. We have like the industry professionals will be there so you can meet them, talk to them, get the hands-on activity. Uh, as I mentioned, this was the co- co-branding um, that we always did with Jessie and so she will be there as well. The Jessie Combs Foundation will be on site so if you'd like to buy something else be a part of it uh, they'll be there as well so I'm excited about that and it's just a really fun fast two hours like it's five to seven at the BFG garage and we just ask that you come by and say hello and learn more and talk to the other girls. You know, this is one of our national events, so it gives you an opportunity to talk to other girls that maybe don't know about Ladies off Road Network, and I'd really appreciate your help and support in doing that. On Wednesday is another VIP opportunity. If you have BFG tires and or a Warren winch, you're welcome to join us on the trail ride during the day. Uh, and then at night, we will have a dinner. And so that dinner will be also part of the VIP experience. And that is uh, two events that I host, so it's very cool. On Thursday and Friday, we're going to do something really fun. Uh, I'm putting together a scavenger hunt for you, and you can do it throughout the week. It's not just for Thursday and Friday. But if you're on the VIP experience, you'll do a scavenger hunt, and you'll have big things that you can win as part of the scavenger hunt. So it's going to be a piece of paper and you got to get people's autographs. So slightly awkward, maybe, uh, but most of them you'll be able to get at the arena 
on Thursday and Friday. So I will be at the arena on Thursday and Friday in the afternoons and I will have my schedule printed. Like I'll be at this booth for this hour and this booth for this hour and this booth for this hour. So I can introduce you to the people or I can have, you know, somebody else there that is a part of our scene. Just kind of gives you a good opportunity also to bop into me and make sure that we get some one-on-one -on -one time as well because that's important to me. Um, and Amy, this is for Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. So this is the VIP experience and also the extra experience too. All right. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We have more stuff to do. Uh, Friday night, I might pull off another dinner. That's going to be one of those that's going to be like on the fence until we get there. And then if I can pull it off, I'll pull it off and everybody will know about it because you're already part of the VIP deal. All right. Um, and then the next VIP experience on the list is Jeep Beach. So that's Jeep Beach in Florida. Uh, our VIP experience will start on Tuesday night. I had some people asking for at least some time ranges. So our VIP experience will start on Tuesday night with a VIP party. Uh, and then Wednesday and Thursday, I will be on the beach doing education. So you can come by. I mean, who doesn't want to pull a winch line on the beach? In Daytona like wouldn't you <laughs> uh, and then on Friday and Saturday we're gonna do that same style scavenger hunt that we have for Easter Jeep Safari and on Friday there is a VIP party dinner as well so that you can join in so there's um, a really cool VIP opportunity for Jeep Beach as well okay so who's joining me mint Easter Jeep Safari, Jeep Beach. Those are the next three, three VIPs on the list. Who's joining me? Oh, and then we have Overland Expo that's in May. It's only a couple weeks after that. And I did talk to the girls this weekend, and so we have some fun stuff going there, but I'm not ready to line it out like I just did for Easter Jeep and Jeep Beach. All right, Jeep Beach, Easter Jeep. Who's in? All right, are you guys ready to start to figure out what these save the dates are? So if you notice, this Saturday, there's a save the date on the calendar. And then you'll also notice that there are some yellow stars on your calendars as well, right? So I want to tell you about four of the save the dates. Um, we're not ready to tell you what they all are yet. That might be in a couple more weeks but I can tell you what four of them are. So four of them are March 7th, June 6th, August 8th, and October 3rd. March 7th, June 6th, August 8th, and October 3rd. All right, so these four weekends, oh, I'm so excited. We have the opportunity to go to four wheel parts around the country and put up a table at their sale days. They have sale days all over the country at every single one of the stores on those four days. And so I asked permission. I'm like, hey, I always get asked locally for Ladies Off Road Network to have a table at the, at the event, um, at the store. Can we just do this nationally? Can I put a national program together? And so I turned to the leadership group and said, hey, guess what? We're going to put a national program together. And I really, really need some help. And I really want this to be awesome. And I am so proud, you guys. I had a goal of 20, and we are going to have 20 tables at 20 four wheel parts across the country on Saturday. Woo! Let's link. I don't, I don't know what face to throw. I kind of feel like that one. Um, but super, super, super exciting. Now, how is this all working? What's happening, right? And you're like, wait, how can I do it? Well, I'll tell you how you can do it. You have to be a part of the leadership team. I'm just gonna tell you that like straight out the gate. So if you're not part of the leadership team, then you don't know anything about it and you can't do anything about it because the leadership team is the team that I'm working with personally to make sure you guys have the words and make sure that everybody is successful. So these girls are part of our leadership team that have this weekend available and are going to host a table at a four wheel parts. 
So I'm going to name it off and then we're going to be throwing it up online as well. Um, but I'm really excited. So Erica is going to be at, and these are just like leads. If you are in the area and you want to come and you want to help, write it down, write the name down and reach out and help, right? <laughs> the more, the merrier, the more, the merrier. So Erica is going to be in Mesa, Arizona. Nicole is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona. Jessica is going to Tucson, Arizona. Right, Jessica? Bonnie is going to Glendale, Arizona. Diane is going to cover Santa Rosa, California. Lisa is doing Westminster, Colorado. Angie is going to do Jacksonville, Florida. Kendra is going to do Jacksonville, Florida. They have two different stores there. And Sheila is going to help uh, split her time between both of them. Julie is going to do uh, Naperville, Illinois. Kathy is Kansas City, Kansas. Arlene is Louisville, Kentucky. Summer is Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Laura is Rayleigh, North Carolina. Stephanie is Albuquerque, New Mexico. Jody is Cleveland, Ohio. Marissa is Columbus, Ohio. Wendy is Tulsa, Oklahoma. Cheryl is Tigard, Oregon. Ashley is Nashville, Tennessee. And Esther is Virginia Beach, Virginia. How freaking cool is that, you guys? Like, let's throw down some massive hearts for this. This has been a huge undertaking uh, for me, to be quite honest with you. And I'll, I'll let you into the backdrop of that just a little bit. Um, yeah, so we have... You know, so, and you guys understand how I feel, like, Ladies Opera Network is very special, and we have very, like, what Ladies Opera Network is and the communication behind it is very important to me, that we tell people the right thing. I hate when, I'm a PR person, I hate it when somebody says the wrong thing, I just can't handle it. I'm like, that's wrong! Say the truth! Get your words right, right? <laughs> um... So I put together this huge packet. I put together boxes and the girls, it took nine girls in total, four on one day and five the next day to come in on Sunday and Monday of this week and get those boxes ready so that today I could take them to the post office. They're out. I felt like the proudest mama bear ever taking these 20 boxes <laughs> to the post office. Um, but inside of them is a tablecloth paper everywhere, is a tablecloth, let me find the right side, that has our logo on the top, which we have to thank Sherilyn for this because Sherilyn kicked major booty at getting these bad boys done. It has a huge, uh, huge logo down the side of it. So the logo's on the top and then it has the huge logo down the side of it which is amazing. These are fitted teal tablecloths. They're just so stinking cool. And then it took us literally, literally two days to laminate all the paperwork that we sent with these tablecloths. I sent koozies, very specific number. We counted 30. <laughs> and uh and a stack of 250 flyers that can be handed out and then I put together a like thanks for hosting and like a full-on diagram of exactly what the table needs to look like and then all of the stuff that goes with it so if somebody becomes a member on two on Saturday which even if you're not running a table this counts because we can't tell any different to be quite honest with you so if somebody becomes a member on Saturday, they'll get a $20 gift card for Bauer Media Store, which includes Ladies Opera Network, I'm Not Just a Girl, Guy Shirts, all that. And everybody that becomes a member on Saturday, their name will go into a pot for that $100, for a $100 gift card that goes towards your networking events. So very awesome on that. So I wanted to mention this nationally though, because Anybody that becomes a member on Saturday goes into this pot. So you will get a $20 gift card and then your name will go into the $100 um, drawing. But it goes, the $100 goes to the networking event, right? 
Um, we got updated and laminated uh, calendar sheets. So I added on here the fluffy sales, the flash sales, and the changes on some of the dates. We have an updating across the country, including the current shirt that's available. They have the join the social media pages. And again, join our mailing list and it gets a $100 gift card. Showing off that we give out education every month at the networking events. Um, you'll have a wild apricot chatter sheet in order for people that are already members to help them understand better. And an updated what is ladies off road network for 2020 sheet. Um, so yeah, so all of that goes onto a table that will look like this because this is the way Charlene rolls and says, all right, guys, here's your double stick tape, tape those Bessies down and have a great day. And then uh, what we did last week is a group of us got together at the local full parts and we put it all together and I did a video on how to, um, how to work the table and how to talk to people. And you know, when somebody said, asked a question, like how to respond to that question, because that's the most scariest part, right? It's one thing to put a table up. It's one thing to look at it. But then how do I get those 250 flyers that Charlene sent me into people's hands? That's a whole nother story. So i um, really excited about that. Really thankful for the 20 ladies that are stepping outside the box with me. Um, the cool part is, is I'm not going to a formal parts on Saturday. Sounds super awkward, but I, well, I might, I might, but what I am going to do is I'm going to be on my phone the entire time. So if somebody has a question at one of the, at one of the tables, if somebody walks up and you don't know how to answer it, I'm immediately right there in your booth by a phone call. So it's really cool. Uh, we do have. 95 stores in total <laughs> that we can put booths up at, that we can put tables up at. So as our leadership group grows, I'm just really excited to give you guys the opportunity to host these. As the, the group that is hosting a table this time, now they'll have their tablecloth and they just have to tell me when they want to host a table and I have to get them all the updated paper and koozies and stuff. But now our package that's going out is much smaller to them. And, uh, and they have the tools and the knowledge of how to talk about Ladies Off Road Network to be more successful. So we're on the path with that. Um, so that is four of these, uh, four of these save the dates, which I gave you guys the dates earlier. March 7th, June 6th, August 8th, and October 3rd. So that will be uh, the save the dates and that will associate that associate with the four part sale days so now you know when all their sale days are too but if you have time and you want to go hang out or you want to join the leadership group and uh, grab a table at your local four parts yes super awesome i love it yay i'm like a mama bear on this one i'm really excited really really stinking excited and again back to sherilyn the tablecloths were, are awesome. Awesome. And the paper is awesome. I just saw Erica say she's like a, you know, a laminating pro. She laminated all day, one day. And then I had, um, uh, oh my gosh, huh, Alyssa laminating the next day. Like, holy guacamole. Okie dokie. Are you ready for the next paper? Uh-oh, I lost the list. Okay, and we go to that. So those are the those are those four save the dates. The other three that are on there are a way bigger program. So save the date. All right, copy that. Trust me, you're gonna wanna save the date. Um, next on our list, and I saw it already pop up on chat, is we have the Wilderness First Aid. I wanna make sure that we're pushing this strongly now so this is june this is our wilderness first aid i think we only literally have eight spots left this is a big deal this is getting your wilderness first aid certification so you have the opportunity to get the certification but it's a special ladies off road network edition so not only are you going to get your certification on friday and saturday yeah friday and saturday but then 
we're going wheeling on Sunday, but we're not just going to go wheeling. Like, we're going to have to recover somebody. Somebody's going to be out there uh, hurt. And so we're going to take everything that we just learned in our class and apply it on Sunday to some not random person, some very staged person in the middle of the wilderness in, um, in New Mexico. So this is happening in New Mexico at a state-of-the-art facility uh, for wilderness first aid. And then on Sunday, they're working with me and they're going to take us out and we're going to go do cool things in the wilderness with our first aid skills. So, you know, it's one thing to learn book. It's a totally different thing to finally put your hands on it. So that's wilderness first aid. And then also extremely important that you guys are getting yourself signed up for the convention. Uh, it is July 30th to August 2nd. We did release the theme for Saturday night's gala, which is the Roaring Twenties and the Auto City. That's going to be uh, the Saturday night theme. We'll have a couple weeks here where we can uh, pop some other ideas as well for the other theme nights. And we'll start talking about, hmm, maybe I'll tell you what we're going to do on Saturday. Hmm. Maybe not. Definitely not tonight. Sorry, Marissa. Definitely not tonight. But maybe soon. Maybe soon. Um, so that's coming up as well. So make sure that you guys are getting at minimum, your minimum in, and then uh, get in the rest sooner than later so that we can make sure that we are locking this baby down. Uh, the convention this year is in Michigan. Please remember, you do not need a vehicle. I want you to fly. I want you to stay in the hotel. This is not a camping experience. This is not a, I don't know how to drive my vehicle and it's too far away. Nothing is too far away when there's a plane involved, especially when you have time right now to get that, uh, that flight booked. So that convention is extremely important. It's four days of pure education. It's exciting. It's awesome. And we really, really, really want you to be a part of it. That's, if there's one thing on this calendar, that's it, all right? Blow off everything else. If the only thing that you can do is one thing and come to the convention, that's how I feel about this, all right? All right, so that's the Wilderness First Aid and that's the convention. And how are you guys doing? I still have like the two biggest things that you wanna hear about left to come because we all know how this works, right? Like I ramp it up. Okay, so for people that are coming in late, we have the new flash sale shirt. It is a polka dot model because we have the Jesse Combs um, foundation that you can add on to it for an additional $20 straight donation. It goes directly to the donation. So this is our new flash sale. This one's getting ready for the Easter Jeep Safari VIP. So if you are an Easter Jeep Safari VIP, if you're going to sign up for that, do not order yourself a shirt right away. If you are hosting one of our March networking events, do not sign up for a shirt right away. Um, I'll give you the details on how to do that. We also have it in a white and we also have it in a red. The red is not coming out very well in the pictures or in this live, but it truly is a red but it's metallic and that's why it's giving it off a weird color. So you can see the red with the patch and a white, it's like a pearl white with the patch, right? Uh, members, you'll get your 20% off. So it's $35 non-member and $28 member. It ends on March 27th, small to 4XL. And then the patch is $20 extra straight donation, but it will be on there when you get your shirt in the mail. Fluffy, fluffy jackets are shipping next week. We got our March networking up, ladiesoffroadnetworking.com. The March giveaway, what is it? What's the March giveaway? What's the March giveaway? Bam. There it is, Oops, wrong way. Coyote deflators, trailer crawl magazine, and Canon filter set. So this month we'll be talking about filters. We got oil filters, air filters, and then the cabin filters. So excited about that. With the resolution, beware. The next two weeks are going to be extremely aggressive on all of us. 
Make sure if you have not already gotten everything done that you already have, get it done this weekend so it's not on top, on top, on top, right? Um, we canceled the adventures. We are doing VIP at the Mint, VIP at Easter Jeep Safari, and Jeep Beach. Go back if you need to listen to any of those. Super stoked on all of the fall apart sale days. The save the dates for March 7th, June 6th, August 8th, and October 3rd are fall apart sale days. If you have a friend that wants to become a member, this Saturday is a great day to do it because they're going to get a $20 gift card from Bauer Media Store and your networking, their name goes in the hat for a $100 networking gift card, meaning the $100 goes to the local networking events. All right. Then we talked about the Wilderness First Aid. I only have like eight spots left. That's June 12th to 14th. And the convention is July 30th to August 2nd. Don't miss it. Yes, we are doing VIP at Overland Expo West as well. Um, but I'm not, we talked, I talked to the girls this last weekend. I saw them at the TDS. I'm just not exactly ready to roll out exactly what we're doing, but it's going to be cool. Just saying. All right. Are you guys ready for some yellow star action? <laughs> Some yellow star action. So people are like, what are these yellow stars for? And I'm like, well, these are weekends that I have like locked out for other events, but I definitely cannot talk about them yet. So the save the date weekends are leadership role weekends. Like we have the, um, hey, look, look who came to visit. It's oil. Say hi, oil. Oh, oil hates the light, but he just wants to hang out. He loves the attention and he hates the light. Um, so the save the date weekends are for the leadership group to be able to be, um, to be able to be, uh, successful. And so that they know the dates that were out there, the four are for the full parts. And then the other three are for something that everybody wants to do. So be really aware of those. Don't let those dates slide off. You kind of want to keep those open for yourself, but we need to make sure um, if you're going, you have to be a leader to lead it. You can attend it, not as a leader, but you need to be a leader to lead it. So if there's no leaders in your area, which you're kind of telling where the foil parts tables are at right now, you might want to step into that role, but I'm not forcing anybody. That's all on you. Okay. It's all on you. Um, yeah. So the exciting part is though, we're adding yellow stars right now. So seven events are getting added to our calendar right now. Are you ready? Let's fill some yellow stars. So the first yellow star, actually it's not even a yellow star because we ended up changing it off of the 19th onto the 26th um, because the adventure changed. So our first yellow star is a garage takeover. The garage takeover. So this is you guys getting in the garage, doing work, learning, and being awesome. It's going to be June 26th to the 28th in Salt Lake City. And we are going to take over Impulse Off-Road. Frankie needs some work. Frankie needs some love <laughs> in order to get ready for the summer tour as normal. And so we will take a maximum of 10 ladies that can come out to Salt Lake City, Utah, come into Impulse Off-Road, and we will work, 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 work. So we need you there on Friday. Uh, you'll get in Friday sometime. And Friday at like 5 o'clock, we'll have a big dinner, get together, get everything kind of organized on Friday night, let you know what's going on. And then on Saturday, it's a full work day. So we leave the house about nine o'clock. We'll start working 10, 10 o'clock. We'll come home eight, nine o'clock and then do it again on Sunday from, let's say like 10 to four. We'll probably end around four o'clock. And um, so that is the way that this is going to go down. We ha I have a long list of things that has to happen. One of them is all the maintenance items that you guys are doing as part of the resolution need to happen to Frankie. You notice where I used Gabe's Jeep, the Craigslisticon, for all of the examples. I did that on purpose because I wanted you guys or somebody that may not have a vehicle to have the experience of doing it on a vehicle. So Frankie is that vehicle and it will be 
available in Salt Lake on June 26th to the 28th. The reason that we're doing it in Impulse Off-Road is because Impulse is where Frankie was built. This is its home shop. So it goes back there once a year and we do work to it. Um, these girls here, they were actually changing out the suspension system. So we put the Icon suspension system on it this year. Last year, meaning 2019. Um, we're definitely putting on an exhaust system. We definitely are putting on a winch and a bumper. Uh, there's a few other things that need to be put on as well. So there's some serious wrenching involved too. It's not just maintenance. So we got a lot of hustle to do and a lot of ex uh, exciting learning to do, quite frankly. So I hope that you guys will be interested in this. Um, the information is online. The registration is not online yet. I want to make sure everybody has time to kind of understand it for a second, but it should be up online either tonight or hopefully by the time that this email goes out, right? So this is this. We will either Airbnb it together, which will be an extra cost, or we'll uh, rent a hotel room. So I'm, of course, all about the Airbnb. It's just going to depend on the group that starts to form for this, what we decide to do. All right, it'll be a smaller group, so we'll be able to have that discussion. But more than likely, it'll be Airbnb, and we all just kind of pitch in for it. All right. Um, I may have the beef there, too, so that may add some other options. All right. Who loves this one? Anybody in? Do you love it? Because if you love this one, wait until you hear the next one. All right. <laughs> Woo! All right, we need a drum roll for this one. Sorry, but this is kind of a big deal. This is a huge commitment for me. This is a huge commitment for you. This is a huge commitment for everybody. I almost need water. That's what I need. I need some fish and some water for this one because holy guacamole, this is going to get out of control extremely quickly. And um, you're going to be part of it. <laughs> As if you thought I wasn't crazy already, let's go ahead and say yes to this project, right? Do you ever say yes to the dress? Well, here we go. We're going to say yes to this next project. Here's how the story goes. The story goes, uh, as you guys know, the resolution uh, we shot at Flying High here in Phoenix. It's a local shop. And Flying High has been here for years and years and years and years and years. And then they got picked up on the Garage Rehab show uh, that you guys saw uh, the, as part of the resolution and its intro. So it's a pretty cool place. And it's pretty fancy. And it's really clean. And it's really nice. And Jeremy is really awesome. And he's a fellow undertaker as, like I am. So I've known him for years. Um, Ten years, actually, plus. <laughs> he tells this story here. She tells the story in his intro, which you guys will get to see soon enough, where, you know, we met when he first tried to come into King of the Hammers and race, and I was the one that gave him the opportunity and the space and everything. So very excited to be there and doing that resolution shooting. Well, while I'm there, Trisha, his wife, calls me and says, hey, Charlene, I hear that you've been down at the shop. And I'm like, yep. Everything's going good. And she's like, so my Jeep is out on the dock, like out in the back. Do you think that the girls with Lady Soft Road Network would be willing to like build it for me? Like put it back together again? And I'm like, what do you mean put it back together again? She's like, I don't know. Go talk to Jeremy. Like, I don't even know what's going on, but I really want to be a part of Lady Soft Road Network, but I don't have my Jeep and it's just sitting out there. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Okay, fine. So next, the next Saturday, because remember, we were going every Saturday, I, <laughs> I called or I talked to Jeremy and I'm like, what's up with Trisha's Jeep? And he's like, oh man, it's out in the backyard. Like I got a tub from this vehicle and I got the drive lines from this vehicle and I got this and I got this. Like I've been collecting all this stuff, but you know how it is, Charlene. Like we just don't have time for it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know how that goes. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, well, do you know that Trisha called me? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, can we talk about this after King of the Hammers? And he's like, okay. So they go, he goes and races King of the Hammers. And I go and am part of King of the Hammers. And we come back two weeks later, right? Because that's how our worlds work. And we sit down and I'm like, listen, 
this is how this is needs to go down. This is the only way it can fit into my schedule. So if we want to do it, it's got to kind of be done like this. Are you in for it? And he said, I'm in for it. I'm like, okay, am I in for it? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm in for it. And Gabe, I made Gabe be part of our conversation too, because I want to have the video aspect to it. I want to have the teaching aspect to it. And so Gabe was in for it too. So all three of us are in for it. It's myself, it's Gabe doing the video, and then it's Jeremy who owns it. Hold on one second. Let's get Instagram re-going again. And then I am happy to tell you, hold on. Oh my gosh, this is just like drum roll for you guys right now. Well, we get Instagram re-going. Oops, wrong button. Hold on. This is kind of funny, actually. Ah. Oh, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. There we go. All right. <laughs> um, so we put together a six weekend build. We put together a six weekend build that you can be a part of. This is the fancy graphic that I hate, so it's going to get redone, but I just have very little fluffiness in me right now. <laughs> it's all very straight, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> um, so we have a six weekend garage build, a garage takeover here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm gonna read off the dates to you. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what it is because you don't have to be a part of all of it. You can be a part of one weekend. You can come to one weekend. You don't have to come to all six weekends. Or you can commit to coming to all six weekends. Uh, it's up to you. But I want you to kind of understand what's going on here. Number one, it's not a JK. It's not a JL. It's not some fancy brand new Jeep that we're putting stuff on. That's number one that I want to tell you. We are taking an old LJ and an old TJ and basically putting them together. All right, which means it's going to be work. It's not going to work out all the time. It's going to be awesome. Like we're going to try and you're going to say, oh, okay, I see this or I see that or this is happening or that's happening or whatever. The other part is, is it's on the dock and it's not coming off the dock until the first Friday night when we get there. And that's my request. I'm like, nope, you guys are not taking that off. You're not like cleaning stuff up. You're not doing anything if the girls are going to do it. The girls are going to do it. So we are starting at the dock on the very first Friday night, pulling this thing off the dock. And so the first night is going to be cleaning. It's going to be a lot of cleaning. Let me tell you, I actually haven't, maybe I should have gone and like put my eyes on it first, which I did not, but Hey, we got it. So the first weekend uh, is going to be April 17th to the 19th. So as your calendar is out, just go ahead and throw down uh, flying high or put an AZ on there. Okay, AZ garage. Uh, so the first one is the 17th, April 17th to the 19th. We're going to do the setup, meaning we're going to pull it off. And then uh, we're going to do the drivetrain. So we're putting all the component, big component pieces together. So putting the transmission, the, the engine, the fuel tank, like we're making sure that all that middle section is put in to the vehicle. On May 1st to the 3rd, then we are going to work on the axles and more of the drivetrain components. So axles, any kind of gearings with the axles, anything that goes along with the axles, and finishing off more of the drivetrain. So all of the undercarriage is going to be done April 17th to the 19th and May 1st to the 3rd. Then on July 17th to the 19th, it's gonna be hotter than dirt here in Arizona, and we have big fans. They're called big ass fans, actually. That's the name of them. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna to have to be a toughy toughy, and you're gonna be awesome, and it's gonna be just fine. But we're gonna do all the body armor, we're gonna do a lot of the outside work, like those fenders and bumpers and all those pieces, and now we're gonna dig into the mechanical side. So we're gonna make sure the engine is running and those pieces are running. On October 23rd to the 25th, we're gonna have the suspension system and more mechanical. So we're gonna make sure that all of our 
components are working up and down in the up and down fashion and some more mechanical components as well, probably through the undercarriage. November 13th through the 15th will be our interior and the cage. And so there'll be a cage and of course all the interior stuff like a stereo and seats and this and that and that and this and this and that and that and this. All right. I'm actually thinking we're going to flip flop a couple of those because that's too many people in a vehicle at once. Some of this stuff is going to get reorganized just a little bit, but I want you to understand the theme of each one. So if there was something that you were really interested in, that theme is what you want to pick the weekend for. So if you can only come to one weekend now, you can have some themes going for you. Then here's a big deal. On December 4th to 6th, it's our international, uh, international off-road and UTV expo here in Arizona. So I have already confirmed a space right next to the main stage where this Jeep is going to sit and the group that's going to come in and work on it that weekend is going to work in front of everybody at the expo. So the Jeep's going to come in super yuck <laughs> looking from the outside technically. We're going to put wheels and tires on it. We're going to put a wrap on it. We're going to do a bunch of finish work to make sure that when that baby is done on Saturday night, I want it done on Saturday night, uh, that it's done. Like it's awesome. We have a Friday and Saturday full days of working to get that baby out the door and fancy fans. So Sunday morning we can celebrate. We can have the partners that were part of it come over and take pictures and just like really be positive about it. Um, and then on Monday, December 7th, it's all finished, right? It's all fancy. It got finished the day before. So we're going to take it out of the show. And on Monday, December 7th, you'll get to go with me and see how I do a photo shoot. So we're going to do a photo shoot while it's still nice and fancy. And then we're going to go wheel in. We're going to get it all dirty. <laughs> Because isn't that what you do? Like, I think that's the best plan ever. Like, why leave it clean for more than 24 hours? Let's go get it dirty. Uh, so that is the six weekend garage build. You can find it online. It's already posted. That whole calendar is posted. You cannot register for it yet. It's $150 for the weekend. Um, you And it's all inclusive food experience, blah, 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 blah. And it includes staying at my house on the floor or couch if you'd like. Uh, so we're trying to keep the cost weighed down for you. So And it's fun. We did it last year for a couple of weekends. It's a ton of fun to have a bunch of people here. And I love it. So you're more than welcome to do that. Or if you prefer grabbing a hotel, then you're on your own for the hotel. And then you would just meet us at the certain times. So you'd fly into Phoenix or Mesa Gateway, whichever one is easier for you and then come to the house and stay at the house. We'll shuttle in the beef and we'll have all the food for you, everything else that you need. And it's just gonna be a ton of fun. You're gonna learn, learn, learn. It's not just, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. We're gonna have some industry professionals come in. We're gonna be shooting video. We're gonna be doing a lot more than just that. So technically, not that a build like this couldn't get done much faster, um, especially with a group of people, but we're going to slow it down sometimes occasionally because we need to make sure that we're getting great content. You know, just having 10 people here and doing the work is great, but I want to make sure that the thousand people that are home right now are still getting that same education. They're not going to get the hands-on portion, but they can still get the learning behind it, right? So that's what's also happening in the background with this. So this is your flying high. Uh, garage takeover, the six weekend garage build that we're going to do here in Arizona, April, May, July, October, November, and December. The way that the weekend's going to work is you're going to come in on a Friday uh, by five o'clock ish, we're going to start, which really means we're going to have dinner. <laughs> we're going to hang out. So we're going to go to the shop, you're going to have dinner, you're going to get to see the environment, you're going to get to touch and feel the Jeep, you're going to get bonded with it, whatever you got to do on Friday night. Everybody's going to like get to know each other, we're going to hang out, we're going to have a good time, and then we're going to come back to the house, and on Saturday morning, we're going to get busy, all right? So uh, Saturday morning, we're going to leave the house about 9, we'll be in the shop and working no later than 10, we'll be leaving the shop, I'm going to say at 9 o'clock at night, because that's the reality, you guys. This is a this is a Jeep build. This is not a, we're just going to go hang out 
and chit chat. Uh, so we're going to be working all day. Now we'll have the beeb there. We'll have opportunity for you to sit down and take a minute and all that kind of stuff. It's not like I'm pushing you 18 hours a day like I push myself. You're pushing the best that you can and being a part the best that you can. All right. Um, and there's slower times in projects and there's faster times. So we just have to account for that. Then we'll go, we'll come back home. And then on Sunday morning, we'll go back. And so we'll leave the house again about nine o'clock and we'll be back in the shop by 10 and by four o'clock. Uh, if you get your flights after four, that would be great because that gives us a full day to be successful. There's the long list. It's a long list. So, but you know, get your flights after four and then that will get you guys home on Sunday night and ready to get back to work on Monday. Now there is an option for Friday. So the option for Friday is you can come in and be there by five o'clock. If the group wants, meaning even a couple of you, two or three or four or five, the more the merrier, right? Uh, I'm all in to go wheeling. So if we put together, if a group is coming in and they're like, hey, we want to go wheeling or we want to do this or we want to do this, like we want to go experience Arizona just a little bit on Friday morning. Okay. You could probably twist my arm. I'll probably go do that. <laughs> so I, uh, not very hard to convince me, right? So we can also do that. Like I hate for you guys to come all the way to Phoenix and be stuck in a shop the whole time if you've never been here because it's gorgeous. So if we start looking at who wants to come early, uh, then we can also say, okay, this group wants to go wheeling and then I'll find a couple extra Jeeps that are around town, especially if you're flying in. Um, if you are, you know, if only a couple of you are coming and it's like, hey, let's just go for a hike, then let's just go for a hike, right? Like whatever it turns into is what it turns into. We'll figure it out independently. But that's the Friday morning. So if you want to come in Thursday night or first thing Friday morning, we'll do something Friday and then be ready for our dinner and evening activities. All right. But that's not mandatory. That's as, as you have time. Uh, the girls will tell you, though, if you come much earlier than that, I'm going to put you to work in the yard. <laughs> you get yard work time. And let me tell you, it's out of control right now. But hopefully... By April, we won't have any yard work to do. We'll have it under control. Oh, it's getting better and better by the day, but it's still out of control. Mm, I think I have trailers in the backyard. <laughs> uh, wow, right? Did I tell you that this was going to be an aggressive one? So, what do we want to do now? Do I need to recap anything? Everybody's been with us, right? Everybody's on top of it. Oh my gosh, Arlene, I saw the picture of us doing yard work the other day and it is hysterical. I started laughing so bad. I almost wanted to put it on this, like, come on Thursday and you can help. <laughs> you can help with Lady Software Network. And like, we all had our axes and our picks. and our. <laughs> I've gotten some better tools since then, by the way. I've gotten some sharper and more aggressive tools since then so we'll be way better <laughs> yeah i need the torch blower yeah the girls on sunday were ready to like torch the entire backyard i'm like probably not the best plan probably not the best plan let me at least get the trailers out of there first <laughs> all right that's aggressive yes if you guys are coming in late you missed a lot uh let me run down the list super fly fast Shirts, these are the new shirts that are on flash sale. They stop being on sale March 27th. Uh, March networking is up. The March giveaway is up. The resolution is going to be on the gas and super overwhelming the next couple times. Canceled the adventures. Uh, we have VIP at the Mint, VIP at Easter Jeep, VIP at Jeep Beach. We have the foil part sale days. We have the wilderness first aid. We have our convention and then our two brand new events, two stars, the yellow stars that we just added were our work on Frankie weekend at Impulse Off-Road in Salt Lake City, June 26th to the 28th. And then our six weekend series where we're going to build a, uh, uh, build a Jeep. We're going to have some fun with Trisha's Jeep. So there's April, May, July, October, November, December, and all this information is also online, Ladies Off-Road Network, all right? So you have some more opportunity to learn about that. 
and get ready to register. I'll have all the registration links up soon enough. Yay. All right. Wow. Right? Wow. So while you guys think of questions and look at your planner and say, hey, I want to learn about this or I want to learn about that. So everybody think about your questions. Um, we've been doing story time the last couple of weeks and it has absolutely been hysterical. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not very fluffy right now. Like I can't even get my graphics to look good because we're so just trying to get stuff like executed and, and out the door for you. So here is your funny story. So I had to reach out to Marissa to say, what story should I tell tonight? Because I'm just not even thinking like that. Like look at your list of book ideas and tell me. And so the, uh, the story for tonight, what she wanted me to tell is how I got stuck in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell them how we got stuck in the van too. But then when I wrote my Facebook post today and it's hysterical, I told, and I left it the way it is too. It's, it's so awesome. When I wrote my post today, it looks like what I wrote, amazing how one word can make all the difference is, is it looks like I got the van stuck in the bathroom. So I love it. And I reread it later. And I'm like, oops, better change that. But Cheryl, who does all the editing, had already seen it. And so she's like, oh, so you got the van stuck in the bathroom. And I'm like, well, now that you've seen it, I'm just going to leave it like that because that's hysterical. And well, yeah, so you're going to have to tune in tonight to see how I got the van stuck in the bathroom. So here's the story. So it was the top 10 weekend and we were in Southern California. And this was in... Uh, I don't know what month last year, September or October, one of the two. Anyways, we were in Southern California and the whole deal with the top 10 weekend, this is all part of being a part of our challenge, right? So you want to be a part of our challenge. It's a really big deal because 10 ladies then get to spend four days with me, like VIPing throughout wherever I decide to take you. Like it's a big, big opportunity. And I rent this white van and everybody like plows into the white van and we all stay in a Airbnb house and like, it's really cool. It's a ton of fun. So, uh, so we had this whole van full of girls and we were headed to Gibson exhaust. But of course the girls don't know where we're going. They have no idea where we are going until we pull up, which is always super fun. And so, as we, um, as we were getting close in the mornings, I'll always stop and like let the girls go to the bathroom at a, at a um, gas station or something like that. Because the last thing I want is for us to walk into a facility and the first thing that the girls have to do is, oh, where's your bathroom, where's your bathroom, where's your bathroom? Like completely kills the whole excitement of them meeting us and us meeting them. That's my reasoning. Okay, so anyways, I always let all the girls go into the bathroom first. Like they just like plow out of the van, go into the, go into the mini mart, whatever, go to the bathroom, get whatever they want for their day, whatever, <laughs> whatever they need that's extra. And, and so we do this and then I'm the last one that goes in and goes to the bathroom because then, you know, mama bear, right? Just like making sure everybody's good. And then I'll go and then I come out and I sweep to make sure that there's nobody left behind. All my 10 children are in the van and off we go. Well, I went in there, I locked the door, I went to the bathroom and I couldn't get out. I was locked in the bathroom. The worst part about it is I had left my phone in the van. So, so I went into the, into the mini mart, I went into the bathroom Without my phone, it's just like one of those single stall bathrooms at a gas station, right? And so here I am stuck in the bathroom. Like I could not get out. There was no way for me to get out. The lock was stuck. Everything was stuck. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I don't have my phone. I don't have anything. The girls are never going to come in looking for me because of course, you know, they're waiting out in the van for me. It's like, well, why would anybody notice Charlene is missing for like 25 minutes? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. So luckily I had shoes on, meaning not just flip-flops. 
And I just started pounding on this door, just kicking on the door and kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. I must have kicked for five minutes on this door. At least that's what it felt like. That might be slightly exaggerated, but I just kept kicking and kicking and kicking and kicking. And finally, so I heard somebody on the outside. They're like, is somebody in there? I'm like, yeah, I'm locked in here. Can you please get a key or find somebody that knows how to get me out of this bathroom? <laughs> and so they finally, like somebody brought a key. I could hear them on the outside and they unlocked it. And it was the attendant lady and... I'm sorry. I must have given her a really mean face because I kind of feel a little guilty about it, but I was locked in the bathroom. Like you should put out of order or, Hey lady, if you're going to go in there, just understand, uh, take your phone because you might get locked in the bathroom. Like, Oh my gosh. It was so ridiculous. So I come back out and everybody's like, Oh, okay. You guys ready? Do, 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 do. They had no idea or even cared that I had even been missing for over five to eight minutes. They're just in the van. Do, do, do. <laughs> so I could have been kidnapped. I could have been locked in the bathroom for hours. Like nobody would have even missed me is how that whole deal was going down. So yeah, there's my got stuck in the bathroom story. Got locked into the bathroom story. But payback for that. No, I'm just kidding was on Saturday, we took our van out to Johnson Valley, out to King of the Hammers, and we were meeting up with Jen Wright and Tony Pellegrino. So uh, we had some really cool, <laughs> we had some really cool plans for Saturday. And I took him out there and um, Rachel and I took him in the van out to back door first. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we went out to back door and we all had our very fancy shirts on. It was funny because the guys were like, yeah, it looks like you guys are all at a dinner party. <laughs> and so they, um, we, I took all the girls out to back door in this big white van and we're having a good time. Now, when I'm saying all the girls, like there's 12 of us in a white van, right? In a 15 passenger van. So, so we go out to back door, we get our pictures taken, we're looking fancy. The entire Gen Right crew, whoosh, like, shows up. I'm like, oh my gosh. But they were way early. I'm like, I look crazy in my dinner wear, sitting in back door. Everybody else was, like, kind of fancy pants too, right? Whatever. So, we were having a good time. All the Gen Right guys come in. They start shooting back door. They start crawling back door. They're having a great time. Well, the plan was, is they were going to show them back door. I didn't want anybody getting a ride up back door because there's so much liability to that. Like it really is. It's a hard hit every time I do it. Like it's just, it's just a hard hit on your body and your neck. So I'm like, we're, our plan was to go to Chocolate Thunder and everybody would get a ride up Chocolate Thunder in the Terremoto in Tony's Jeep. So that's what we did. Uh, so we all loaded back into the van and I'm like, all right, girls, change back into your normal clothes so that when we get to Chocolate Thunder and we're actually in the Jeep, like we look normal, like we would be out wheeling. Well, as you go from back door to Chocolate Thunder, there's a whole bunch of different trails that you can take. And it's like a downhill and an uphill, slight downhill, uphill type situation, which if you're on hard pack is no big deal. But if you, if you cut across from one to the other, you can hit extremely soft pack, which is not a good plan in a 15 passenger van with 12 people in it. Note to self. I'll know this better for next time. Of course, I knew this that time too, but I tried and it just went. <laughs> so the whole van just got stuck. It just went all the way down. And I'm like, this isn't good. So we got everybody out. <laughs> and then we tried to push it. Like we tried to like do some ac fast action before, like if we can just get the weight out and we get some momentum going on here, like some back forward, back forward. Can we get it going? Yeah, no. So now everybody was out digging. Like it was incredible to see everybody out underneath the van digging. You know, it was interesting to watch the group dynamic like 
we didn't have anybody take charge. Everybody was just going crazy. And I'm like, hold on. Can somebody not be in charge here and make this happen? So, uh, yeah, so it was super funny to be able to <laughs> watch everybody try and dig this thing out. Well, the digging went on and went on and went on and went on. And we weren't really getting anywhere. And it wasn't really happening. <clears throat> and at the same time, we're killing time because the Generite guys, I have them set up for Chocolate Thunder. So all the Generite guys come back down to <laughs> rescue us. And they're like, well, you want me to pull you out? I'm like, no, we'll get it unstuck. Like, we have to learn how to do this. This is part of the plan. Now, I had planned on getting stuck, but not like this. This was too much. So we took a, we put everybody into all the different Generite Jeeps and got them, shot them up to Chocolate Thunder. It took a couple of rounds to get everybody up there. And then all the girls got a ride in the Terramoto and went up Chocolate Thunder in the Terramoto, which was super awesome. Let's throw some hearts for that. And then they shuttled us all back to the stuck van, <laughs> which luckily it wasn't a busy weekend or else I really would have laughed at who drove by the stuck van. It's like, why is this van here? And oh my gosh, it's stuck. So, to, so again, Tony's like, well, do you want me to pull you out? And I'm like, nope, not really. We'll get it. It'll be fine. And even at that, like, I couldn't get a strap under it anyways. Like, you couldn't even get under it. Like, there's no way to even do anything. So, they finally got us to a point. The girls finally, like, dug it and had a plan together now to where we were able to actually back it up. And by backing it up, it raised the nose to where I could get a strap underneath. So I did. I called in Tony. I'm like, all right, Tony, we're ready for you now. And so he came back up and we got the strap off the Terramoto and I hooked it up underneath the <laughs> up underneath the van. And we just got like a little bit of a bump out and we were, bam, home free. <laughs> of course, we some people had aired down past where we should have been airing down at for a little van tire in the desert with little rims. So it was super sketched out as we were going back down into town, into town, back into where like all the campers are, um, with 15 people, well, 12 people in there. I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, we haven't really been able to tell that story, um, yet, but hopefully the van rental people aren't watching. Because I'd really like to rent a van from them again. <laughs> so that is the story of us getting the van stuck at the top 10 weekend. Just remember, you see pictures, you see a lot about what's going on, but that doesn't mean you know everything. There's always the pinky swears. <laughs> yeah, my goodness, that was quite the weekend. It was so much fun. It was so rad. You guys participate in the challenge. Participate in the resolution. Participate in the scavenger hunt. Like, we got some really cool stuff that's going down. So, anyways, what uh, what questions do you guys have for me? I haven't been watching questions at all. So, do we have any questions that are out there? What's shaking, bacon? What can we do? How can we be successful? Um, what do you guys want to know? How did I do? Did I explain everything okay? Where's our question list? Anything, anything, anything. We got polka dots, we got plain red, we got plain white. $20 direct donation to the Jesse Combs Foundation for the patch. Small to 4XL, they are will be available until March 27th. If you are a member, you'll get your discount code tonight. If you're doing the VIP, uh, if you're doing the VIP for Moab, do not order one. If you are a March networking hostess, do not order one. Um, March giveaway is the Canon filter kit. So we're doing filters. We're going to be talking filters all month of March. Yep. And then we have the resolution. Be aware the next two weeks are going to be extremely aggressive. So if you haven't caught up, if you're not caught up, get caught up this weekend. And so we can go fast and furious forward. The West Coast Adventure and the East Coast Adventure got canceled uh, because we just, it's just not our thing. And that's okay. And that's okay that you told me that. And I appreciate that a lot. 
So that frees us up so we can do other amazing things online. I'm actually really excited about it. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Even though I really wanted to go on these trips. Um, calendar, we have the Mint coming up this week. Uh, Thursday is the big deal, 11 a.m. all girl picture. Um, and then we have VIP Easter Jeep Safari. I lined that up earlier. It'll be out online next week. Jeep Beach VIP uh, full part sale days. The one is this Saturday. Very cool for people that are hosting tables for me, and you can go back to that. Um, and then we have the Wilderness First Aid coming up in June. We only have eight spots left. The convention is July 30th to August 2nd. Be sure to put that on your list. That's the most important, most favorite. And then adding new events tonight that you haven't heard about before is our Impulse Off-Road Takeover for uh, Frankie. You got to get Frankie all buzzed up before tour time happens. So we'll be there June 26th to 28th. And then our six-week build here in Phoenix, Arizona. And so this is really, really exciting as well. Two days of hands-on plus a Friday, Friday experience. Um, Sarah asks, and it's absolutely my intention, we will have the adventures, like the graphics that you guys sent in for the challenge along with the bullet points. We're going to get those listed up online. Um, I, I absolutely agree with that. And then on Apricot, we'll have more detail for that. Uh, and then this year, we, I already gave everybody the bump that you're going to have to submit another adventure for this year's challenge, but it'll have a little bit different outlines because, of course, the end result's a little bit different. You know, last year we were trying to execute it for this year. This year I'll have a little bit of a different result so that we can be successful also and everybody can share it out. All right. So that's that. Like, it's busy, busy, busy. Like I told you, anybody have any questions? I don't see anything else pop up. I think I answered Sarah's. Um, I will check really fast, but I think everybody's over it. Everybody's tired. Everybody says good night. <laughs> Lots to digest. Got a lot going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. Um, yeah. Thank you for staying up, Jessica. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody. Like, you guys, you have to like throw some hearts down for the Arizona girls. They are helping me. They helped me out so much over the last few days. I'm so appreciative of it. Like the physical chaos of putting these packages together for full parts was really aggressive. And uh, Alyssa is in the office and Nicole and um, they've been helping out on the, on the, some of the other day to day stuff. And Bonnie's every day, like Bonnie's on here every single day, helping me and making sure that ladies are taken care of and making sure I'm taken care of. So I appreciate that too. Um, we're doing good stuff. I am very, very, very proud of what we're doing. I do apologize for bopping off the plate on the, uh, uh, bopping off the plate on the resolution. I knew as soon as I left the house that it was going to get hard with the travel, but I didn't realize that it would come to such a screeching halt. So that's completely my fault and not realizing it. But it's all getting done. It will 100% all get done. So it's not just like the best and the best timing. Or let's not say that. It didn't flow as well as it should have. But that's okay. And we have a ton more online stuff coming up. Like that's been the talk of the town is all the online and wanting more and more and more classes like this. And I'm all in, so I can hardly wait to, uh, to show you guys what we have planned and what's coming up. But sometimes that means I can't leave the house because now we know what happens when Charlene leaves the house. Doesn't go well. <laughs> all right, so I don't see any questions. I just see everybody saying thank you. So let's say thank you, let's say good night. I'm gonna get back to my laptop so I can get you guys this email and have all the links attached to it so you guys can start signing up. Again, remember, especially for these garage weekends, there's only 10 people. I can only have 10 in the garage. Like, past that, it's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, let's just make sure that we're all on task. You pick one weekend, you pick the whole series. I don't care which one. I'm excited for either. 
But I will also say um, I would love and foresee everybody coming to the very last one. So, you know, come and participate in the beginning and then come to the show weekend also because I just want as many people as I can to be there for that show weekend so you can be proud of what you worked on. It's not that we need more hands in order to help. I want you to be there to be proud of what you worked on and see the finished products, right? And, and be there at the show and then go wheeling with us on Monday. So it's kind of a weird four day weekend, but the Monday is the only way we can do it. And I don't wanna wait until the next weekend. I just, I don't wanna create another weekend. I just wanna extend it one more day and we go do the pictures, we go do the photo shoot, and then we go wheeling. So, yay? Yay. All right, on that, that gave you all time to say goodnight. So good night from Christmas in March. <laughs> it's being taken down. It's out of here. We might have it right here so you can see there's no Christmas tree next week. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great night. And if you do not have a planner, remember... This month's saying is what? Old ways won't open new doors. And your planners are free. You can get them on the store, BauerMediaStore.com, in the Ladies Off Road Network section. They're free. All, you get, all I'm asking is help me out with some shipping. So, all right, ladies. Have a good night. I appreciate you very much. I'm so excited about this year. This is going to be so much fun. It's all happening for the right reasons. All right. Bye-bye, Instagram. And that means you're next. Bye-bye, Facebook. <laughs> Good night, ladies. We'll see you later.